Hi, and welcome to the West Virginia University School of Social Work MSW on-campus overview. I'm Chloe McCorsky, a graduate assistant for the School of Social Work. My supervisor is Jackie Englehart, the MSW Admissions and Recruitment Coordinator for the WVU School of Social Work. Today, we'll be going over some basics regarding the on-campus MSW program options and application process. First, the big picture. Our on-campus programs are available on a part-time or full-time basis. Additionally, students must follow a particular course of study, a degree progression plan, which is available on our website. Courses are offered once per week over the course of the semester. During the fall and spring semesters, each course is three hours long. In the summer semesters, the courses are four hours long. A full-time student will carry at least nine credit hours or three courses per semester, and a part-time student is typically enrolled in six credit hours or two courses per semester. We typically offer at least one section of each course in the late afternoon and evening hours to accommodate working students. Field internships are an important part of the MSW degree and will require additional hours, which we will discuss in a few minutes. The curriculum at West Virginia University focuses on a specialization in advanced integrated practice. This per prepares students to integrate micro, meso, and macro practice skills across service sectors. Graduates of our MSW program are eligible to pursue licensure in all 50 states and are well equipped to pursue employment in a variety of settings from clinical positions to administrative roles. Please note that we recommend that you double check with your state social work licensing board about licensing requirements as they are constantly evolving. We have two program options for the on-campus MSW degree. The first is the regular standing program. This is for students with all undergraduate degrees other than social work and is 60 credits long. For full-time students, the regular standing program takes two years to complete over the course of five consecutive semesters, which includes a summer semester. For part-time students, the regular standing program takes three years to complete over the course of nine consecutive semesters, which includes two summer semesters. Both regular standing program options start in the fall semester only, so the application is due between January and March each year, or you can take advantage of our early decision deadline of November 1st. Two field placements are required for the regular standing program. The advanced standing program for students with a bachelor's degree in social work is 36 credits. The full-time advanced standing program takes one year to complete over the course of three consecutive semesters. This program starts in the summer semester only, so the application is due by January 15th, with the possible option to apply by March if spots are available. You can also take advantage of our early decision deadline of November 1st. The part-time advanced standing program takes two years to complete over the course of six consecutive semesters, which also includes summer semesters. This program starts in the fall semester only, so the application is due between January and March each year. The advanced standing students only complete one field placement, the specialized advanced placement, in the final year of their program. For international students interested in applying for advanced standing status, please contact the WVU School Social Work Admissions team. If your BSW degree was awarded outside of the U.S., there are additional steps to complete to validate the degree to meet the Council of Social Work Education standards. Some more information about field placements. Field placements, or internships, are required parts of the MSW program where students work in the social service agencies in the community and practice the knowledge, skills, and techniques that they learn in a classroom. It is similar to how education majors must complete student teaching or nurses must complete clinical rotations. The generalist field experience placement is for regular standing students only. It is for 300 hours completed over the course of two semesters. While in placement, students will be engaging in three integrative semester seminars per semester. Part-time students are expected to be in their field placements 12 to 16 hours per week, and full-time students are expected to be in placement 14 to 16 hours per week. The specialized advanced field experience is completed by both regular and advanced standing students. It is for 600 hours completed over the course of two to three semesters. 
two semesters for full-time students and three for part-time students. Additionally, during two semesters of the field placement, students will be engaged in six integrative seminars. Part-time students are expected to be in their specialized advanced field placements 15 to 18 hours per week, and full-time students are expected to be in placement 18 to 22 hours per week. Some additional important field information. The School Social Work Field Office will work with each student to identify and develop appropriate field internship opportunities. We have hundreds of agencies all over the state and nation that we work with in a variety of settings. Many of our MSW students already work in social service agencies, so employer-based placements can be considered on a case-by-case -case basis. The semesters when field placements occur are quite full and busy. It is important to be aware that during the times you are in field placement, there will be a need for greater flexibility on your and possibly your employer's part. At the very least, you'll need to plan for how you will incorporate these critical internship hours into your week. If you are working, we recommend the part-time program option. It is extremely difficult to juggle a full-time graduate course load plus internship hours plus full-time work. Here are the admissions requirements for the on-campus MSW programs. First, an undergraduate degree from a regionally accredited university by the time you are begin to begin the MSW program. Or if you have completed a graduate degree and wish to use that GPA for your application, that is also acceptable. An overall GPA of 2.75 out of a 4.0 scale with a preferred GPA of 3.0. For advanced standing applicants, it is expected that you will have at least a 3.25 GPA in your BSW coursework. Additionally, your BSW degree must be from a CSWE accredited program within the past eight years of entering the MSW program. Students who do not meet GPA requirements can sometimes still be accepted provisionally into our programs if other components of their application really shine. If you were in this situation, please reach out to our admissions team for consultation. Now let's talk about the application process. Our application process is completely online. We require you to submit an online MSW application along with a $60 application fee. We also require you to submit transcripts from all institutions that you received any credits from. Unofficial copies can be used to review your application and you can upload those to the online application portal. Official copies can be mailed or emailed to WVU Graduate Admissions and more details on this are on our website. We ask that you also upload a copy of your resume and we require you to upload an admissions essay. This requires you to submit very specific information so please see our website for admission essay guidelines. You must also include three recommendations with your application, one social work human services, one academic, and one employer. To request your recommendations, you will enter your recommender's name and email address into the online application. An email will be automatically sent to those individuals with instructions on how to complete a short form and upload their letters. For advanced standing applicants, there is an additional requirement. Your, acad your academic recommendation must be from one of your BSW professors, preferably the director of your BSW program. Here's some additional information for international students. Any international student whose country does not have English as its official language must submit official scores from language profi proficiency tests. There are four testing options available, the TOEFL, Academic IELTS, PTE Academic, and the Duolingo English Test. The minimum scores are listed on the slide. International Admissions reviews all international applications and will assist in uploading language proficiency scores, converting college transcripts to a 4.0 scale, and assisting with processing visa paperwork if accepted. Now some information about our deadlines. November 1st is our early review deadline. Applications submitted by November 1st will receive an early decision notification. The priority deadline for our on-campus MSW program is January 15th. Apply by this deadline to be eligible for school social work scholarships and graduate assistant positions if you are accepted. 
The standard and final deadline is March 1st. If our on-campus programs sound like they might be a good fit for you, I encourage you to visit our website, which is socialwork.wvu.edu, to learn more about our course of study, curriculum, application process, and about our School of Social Work. We typically offer more in-depth virtual live information sessions each fall, and you can find times and registration information on our website or by scanning the QR code on the slide. If you have any questions about our on-campus programs or admissions process, feel free to contact our admissions team at socialwork at mail.wvu.edu. Thanks for watching.